get Daddy. Tell him the caterpillar is doing a cocoon now. Hurry. He's in the shower. Go tell him. his feet are like disappearing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Dude, Brian, you're missing it. You can't hear me whistle. Oh, I can't go get him because I'm going to miss it. This is the time, Riley. This is the time. This looks like he's starting to turn green. Look at the bottom, like right by his head. <gasps> he is. Okay, look at the underneath head. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Wow, he's splitting. So, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Will, go get daddy, please. Real quick, we can pause it and rewind it. Hurry, this is really cool. Come look. Okay, so, oh, that's so interesting. The cocoon comes from the inside. Oh, so it's like his, that is weird. Who knew? So the cocoon, so his little outer layer splits, and it's like the cocoon comes out. All right, am I getting him? Where am I? Here we go. Wow. Just, you know, a little, like, National Geographic Day here at the Jesse House. <laughs> Got all sorts of nature projects going on. So he's like, hey, you, you yes, I've been trying to get you. Look at the skin, like, split. And it's the cocoon is like coming out from the inside. Yeah, I know, that's what I figured the last time. You said it secreted out. I thought you meant it like the cocoon secreted out and kind of formed around, but it's like it's, it was on the inside the yeah. whole time. Yeah, no, that's what I meant by secreting out. It came through its skin. Oh, so that whole thing that falls off is not his head, it's his whole body. Or something. The part that fell off, I thought it was his head falling off. It's like the skin is scrunching up, scrunching up. It takes up a whole body. Dude, that is insane. And a butterfly is formed out of that. And what's crazy is I think as it's doing that, it's making the wings because that big, thick part on the bottom becomes the wings. No, that, well, yeah, the outer layer is the cocoon. Right, but right on the inside. Yeah. Part of that could be the wings. So that whole thing that fell, we thought was its head, is all that. His skin. whole body scrunched up. It's like that exoskeleton, that was called. Geographic going on. It's like, get off of there, skin. Get off. Oh my gosh. How does he get that skin off of there? Oh, what are you doing, baby? You smell like lime now.
look, he's got like that thing he's using. What? Oh, he's just... Whoa, look at him going to town trying to get that off of there. Look at those dots on the top. Are those just eyeballs? <laughs> Look. No. That's his foot and his butt. Those are all maybe all the little feet. That's crazy. I bet you're just going to get thicker and thicker. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Can you rinse her pinky, babe? Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wow. That is crazy. Now we all know how the monarch caterpillar turns into a cocoon. Crazy. Look at him spin like that. Now I wonder how he gets to be, um, to be really thick. That's probably a, a less noticeable process. Probably just kind of comes from the inside out and thickens up. But I haven't really been right about any of this, so I could be wrong. Done moving now, buddy. I'm gonna take a little rest. Amazing, he does all of that, but he still stays attached to his little silk um, fastener here up there. He made a strong hold for that. Still got stripes. Alright people, that's all she wrote for now. Hope you enjoyed our little show for today. We'll see you again next time when the Jesse Nature Projects continue.